اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولا تقولو لمن یقتلو فی سبیل اللہ اموات بل احیاء ولیکن لا تشعرون Dear friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I recited Surah Al-Baqarah ayat number 154. In this ayat, Allah tells us about the people who die just for Allah in the way of Allah. Allah said, don't say to them dead but they are alive you have no knowledge that may approach to know their life so we have not been blessed that knowledge that will tell us about the life of those people who die in the way of Allah this way Allah dislikes the people who say those people dead, the people who are killed in the way of Allah. So Allah says, وَلَا تَقُولُ وَلَا And don't say, وَلَا تَقُولُ And don't say, لِمَنْ to those people yuktalu who are killed fi sabilillah in the way of Allah amwat dead so you are not to say them dead who are killed in the way of Allah bal ahayaun bal but ahaya mean life but they are alive bal ahayaun but they are alive walakin and you have no la tashurun tashurun mean the understanding the capability to approach to know so you have la tashurun you have no capability to know the life of those people who are killed in the way of Allah they are alive they are not dead but their life so your knowledge is not to approach to understand the life of those people so this way we have not blessed by Allah the knowledge of the martyred people how after their that they are alive because we understand like according to our mind they left this world so we say everyone who leave this world we call them dead but the people who are just to, to die in the way of Allah who are to be killed in the way of Allah they are not dead they are alive but the life of those people is not understanding by us because we have no knowledge of that Allah has not given us the knowledge of their life so their life is hidden from us so this way we only know that they left this world so Allah says to us that we are not to say them they are dead so we are to say them they are shaheed shaheed mean alive so they are alive so this ayat revealed in favor of the shohada or the martyred people who were uh, who became shaheed in battle of badr so the battle of badr is very important the first battle against the kuffar when the holy prophet ﷺ migrated from Makkah to Medina. In this battle, 
uh, the Muslims, they were 313 and the uh, Kufar, they were about 1000. And uh, in the whole battle, the Muslims became, became the winner and they defeated the Kufar. Even they were having no material that was used in the war or battle. Even they were having no more horses, no more weapons, but it was the help of Allah. So that was the source to defeat the Kuffar. And because Allah's help was with them every time. So in this battle, only 14 Muslims, they became shaheed or they became martyred. And from 14 Muslim shaheed, six were muhajireen and eight were from Ansar. And from the muhajireen, the six, they were Ubaidah bin Haris Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Umar bin Abi Waqas Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Zushama Lain Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Umar bin Nakhila Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Amir bin Bakr Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Mahajaj bin Abdullah Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. <coughs> and from the Ansar, the eight Muslim who left this world just for Allah, they were Sayyid bin Khazima Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Qais bin Abdul Manzar Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Zayd bin Haris Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Tamim bin Hamam Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Rafi bin Mu'alla Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Harsa bin Saraka Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, Ma'uz bin Afra Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, and Auf bin Afra Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu. So these 14 Muslims, they became shaheed, they became martyred, they were killed in the way of Allah. So the people at that time, they were saying that these people, they are dead. They left this world, they have not enjoyed their life in this world. So that time, the, the conversation of those people that was disliked by Allah, and because the, the people who were killed in the way of Allah in battle Badr, they were favorite uh, before Allah and Allah liked them so much that Allah don't want to listen about, the, about them, the world dead. So Allah said, don't say them dead. They are not dead. They are alive and their life is more better than your life because they are also given the risk. Like in even you are just to look at Surah, Al, Surah Ali Imran, ayat number 169 and 170. Allah said, <laughs> Allah said that those people, they are also given the risk they eat and drink so don't say them they are dead so they are alive but your knowledge is not to approach to know their life and dead people who are dead people dead people are kuffar who has no iman the people who have no iman even you can see they are working they are walking they are doing everything but in the eyes of allah according to islamic sharia according to holy quran those people who are without iman they are dead and even when they go into the grave they are also they are dead before they dead so those people allah say in you in holy quran in surah namal ayat number 80 allah said inna kala tusmi ul mauta and those people they are unable to listen because they are dead <coughs> so so this way the muslim people they who are killed in the way of allah so they are alive they are not dead so no one is allowed to say the word dead about them. And in one hadith that is in Muslim, Allah said, uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu said that the, the people who are killed in the way of Allah, who are martyred people, who are shaheed, 
their souls they their souls are carried or they are just to ride in the body of the birds which are green so the green birds they take the souls of those martyred people and then visit the paradise and when they visit the paradise those souls they enjoy their life there they can eat and drink the fruits and different blessings of allah which are in paradise after enjoying all that allah says to them allah ask them have you any demand do you need anything so when allah says again and again about do you need anything then those people who died in the way of allah they request allah oh allah please give us one more chance send us to that world again we should die again in your way in that world the taste that we found there that is not in jannah look you can see the taste that a person who is killed in the way of allah found that taste is so much we even no one is just to count that one no one is to tell that one even the people who are martyred who get the life we even their life is not understandable by us but those people they want to come back in this world again and they want to be killed in the way of allah again to get the taste that they got already so mashallah that is the thing so the shohada they are to get that one so <clears throat> so actually so this is the main thing that shohada they are the people who get the supreme taste at the time of leaving this world and what type of things they observe or they can see or what type of situation is before them so we don't know because we have not given that knowledge but we can understand but that is so much uh, lovable by in those people and who are martyred and they like that moments a lot uh, more than every type of blessings of allah <clears throat> so it mean the person who is uh, who has to live the life just for allah that person gets uh, the taste so much nice unexplainable so this way the people who are who die in the who are killed in the way of allah so those people they are not they will not be given the bath even when, and they are just to buried mostly with the dress whatever they were having so they go with that one under the grave and grave that is that is just to keep them safe and sound and purified and nice with the sweet fragrance and nice way their body stay there up to the day of judgment just waiting for the uh, time that the time of uh, the blowing of the trumpet so alhamdulillah and uh, their souls are to visit and enjoy in jannah and their souls are also having the relationship with the body also but more knowledge we have no we have only the knowledge that we have been given by allah and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that told us through the hadith we know about that one only <coughs> and uh, you can see also the the people of uh, who 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 are shaheed like uh, in battle of uhud about 46 years after the battle of uhud a flood came in madina and the graves of those shohada of uhud 
and uh, the bodies of some of the Sahaba who were Shaheed of Uhud and uh, that was uh, uh, shown by the people or the, the people they have seen the bodies and they found them so much fresh and uh, and uh, like that one they have like buried them just one day before like the bodies of umar bin jamur anhu, abdullah bin jubair anhu, and some other sahaba their bodies have been seen by the people and they found their bodies like fresh so much fresh that they have been buried just a day before <coughs> even in the 20th century you can see the river Dajla when it was moving and to other parts and the graves of the Sahaba who, who were martyred and that was there and uh, the, the government of Iraq they decided to take the bodies of those uh, Shahoda and to and to rebury them near the grave of Suleiman Farsi Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu so when they have taken the bodies of those Sahaba and their body was, bodies were so much uh, uh, fresh and nice and safe and sound and they were just buried like near one, two days before. So they were so much uh, fresh also. And uh, this is because of the thing that they became. The Shaheed, they died they have been killed in the way of Allah. But one, uh, the some people they say like the people who are just to join the army. So some people who are killed from the army and their bodies have been found and uh, their bodies were like burst and uh, and no good smell comes from the body also and the people they have seen also and but they are not called shaheed because uh, the research have been done and it was found because those people they got the job in the army just for earning money and because they joined the army not having the intention of looking after the Muslims or looking after the Islam or looking after the people who are who are in love with Allah so their their uh, looking after was not just for Allah to save them from the enemy but if they were having this type of intention then it was excellent they were to get the reward of shaheed so this way if a person who is just to join the army in muslim country because uh, that person must have intention in the in the mind that uh, i am joining the uh, i am joining the army just to, uh, for allah because i want to save the people uh, save the Muslims who are in love with Allah because they are at right track in Islam so I have to save Islam so save Muslims so just for Allah so having intention of this type of you need know, this type of intention having in mind and in heart so that person will get the status of Shaheed if that person is killed during the battle while in that army against the enemy when fighting and if is killed so that person gets the status of shaheed alhamdulillah so that is the thing so we must know that shaheed is very important in the eyes of allah so that person is alive and get to the life special type of blessings uh, within that life that life of that person is more better than our life and uh, gets the risk also drinking eating everything so that person is also in a happy place and also having the blessings of Allah the mercies of Allah and every time nice so Alhamdulillah we request Allah that O oh Allah save us in this life from all types of enemies and also when you make our life to finish just give us uh, so 
nice job we have to fight in the way of you just to die in your way O oh Allah, so that we must get the status of Shaheed in this world, inshallah. Ameen.